Hey, what's happening, everybody? Aaron here, B flat, A C K in action, back in B flat, B flat. So, I kind of came to the conclusion that I'm going to kind of, um, we're going to shorten everything up a little bit. We went through pretty much all those details with the key of A. We're just moving everything up a half a step anyway to go to B flat. And um, the key of B flat has two flats, B and E. The rest are natural. So I have B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, and B flat for the octave, right? We've seen that pattern, right? Um, the chords apply, so you know you have. Um, let's do B flat major here, right? So then we have B flat major. The second note was minor, right? The second mode was Dorian over the C minor, and then we had Phrygian mode over the D minor, right? And then a half step between three and four. Our four here is that E flat major. Our five is a seven, it's F seven, right? Which we could kind of find down here, right? An F seven there. And then um, we have G minor, which we could also do here, right? And then we have the A minor 7 flat 5. And then we resolve that to the B flat major. And just like the other one, your, your chords and everything are going to be found along with those scales and stacked accordingly. And I'm going to show you something that you can apply to all keys, of course, but we're just going to stick with that, the ever so familiar Ionian, right? Now let's just imagine skipping a note, every other note, and we're just going to do three notes at a time. So we can, we're going to do one, three, five, then we're going to do two, four, six, right? And then we're going to do three, five, seven, right? And then we're going to do four, six, eight, right? And then we'll do five, seven, nine, right? Or five, seven, two, right? And then we'll do um, six, eight, two, ten, six, eight, ten. three, right? Six, eight, three. And then we'll do seven, two, four, right? So we, have, and then an octave. So we have those triads in that scale. follow those chords, right? And all your modes. So you would have your Ionian, your Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, natural minor. In this case, our natural minor was actually F, F minor. And usually you'll find your natural minor almost I mean, pretty much always, right? Anyway, you'll find it a minor third beneath your root note. So we have our B flat here. Just go down a minor third, and that will be where your Aeolian scale will start with that particular note. Now, in this case, we have that, like a G Aeolian, right? And so you'd be playing 
uh, aeolian right there. And then we actually do the A, right? Uh, because we didn't have A being a flat in the key. And then we'll resolve it to B flat. And, you know, your arpeggios are the same, you know. Same thing. And catch that B flat up there in no man's land, right? So let's be let's B flat done. Let's be to B flat or not to B flat. Let's not do that anymore. We're going to the key of B. So now we just went up another step, right? Half step anyway, another fret. So now the key of B is gonna be like pretty much a lot of sharps. The key of B has, uh, I'm gonna say five sharps, okay? So I have I have a um, B note here, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. Same positions. All right, same chords. Got B major here, so we'll just call the B major right here, and then we'll go up a half step to the next note of the scale, do that chord, right? So now we have what C sharp minor. There's another sharp, D sharp minor. There's our natural E major. Then we had our F sharp. Um, seven, sorry, right, our G sharp minor, G sharp minor here, right, and then we had the um, A sharp minor seven flat five, so A sharp here, minor seven flat five, and then resolving to our B major. So we'll then what we'll do is we'll end this particular one. We'll get up to the key of C major. That's pretty easy. So the key of C major, it's cool, you know, because all the notes are natural. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's it. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. They're all natural. So let's, instead of going up this way with the notes of the scale and the chords, how they apply, we'll do the... Um, them starting here. So I have C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G mixolydian, right? And then I have um, natural minor, A, the sixth note, and then I have B minor seven flat five, and then back to the C major, right? And of course, in the key of C, we can find those triads. So those were every other note of Ionian, starting on the next consistent consecutive note. Um, heck, we're on a roll. So let's just go to C sharp major. So we're just bringing it up another half step. And then C sharp major, that's going to have just a bunch of sharps. I mean, if, if, if C, you know, natural C major had no sharps and flats, then. We have 
let's say our root note chord starting here, right? C sharp major, D sharp minor, E sharp minor, F sharp major, right? G sharp seven. And then we have um, A sharp minor, right? And then we have that minor seven flat five right here that we were doing kind of up there before. And then back to our C sharp root. So now we got to the key of C sharp. Now all your modes are going to apply the same fashion, um, C sharp, you can catch your triads. And catch all your triads in that. Right? Um, so let's just go to the key of D while we're at it, right? So, a key of D would be two sharps. So the key of D has two sharps in it. Everything else is natural. So let's do D major, we'll start here. So we have D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Ionian here, beginning on the D note. So everything applies, just like before. So we have, now we'll start our root here. D major, our second. E minor. F sharp minor. Right? A7, um, or here, right? And then we have, we go up a whole step to B minor, and then we do the C sharp minor 7 flat 5. Now, or the key, right? So all the modes apply. So again, Ionian for your first position. So Ionian here, Dorian for here, Phrygian for here, Lydian for the G, Mixolydian, a mixolydian. For that, up a whole step. That kind of thing. So we got through um, a couple of keys, like what, three or four? And, you know, that's just pretty much, it's going to continue on like that, okay? And then there's your, you know, there's your cycle, you know, your cycle of fifths or fourths, however, which way you want to look at it. That helps you. Um, you know, it goes around. It's like a, uh, it's like a clock, okay? And each position has what key, you know, you have C on top at 12 o'clock, right? And then you'll have like G at one o'clock, right? The key of G, you'll have D at two o'clock, and one o'clock and two o'clock are the uh, sharps, okay, that are in the said key. So at one o'clock, okay, is G, right? So that would have one sharp, the key of G. Then at two o'clock, okay, is the key of D, 
and then there at three o'clock you know is the key of you know e and that has three you know and at four o'clock is a and going the other way let's say at eleven o'clock you're gonna have the key of of f right at eleven o'clock then before f at you know ten o'clock on the other side you're gonna have the key of B flat. And then at nine o'clock, you're gonna have the key of E flat, and it's gonna go the other direction. And it, it's a cycle, and look it up, you'll see it. And it'll show you all the keys and how it's figured out. And it's really, it's really pretty simple, because all you have to do is start with your first note and just do a whole step a whole, two whole steps, a half step, right? And then three whole steps and a half step. And that's it. That's all it is. It's whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. You could figure out any key that way. You know, let's just say we, somewhere where we haven't gone yet, right? We'll do G major, right? We're going to just go through that. We might as well knock it out, right? So, G major, we have a whole step, a whole step, a, whole, a half step. So there's our half step. And then whole step, whole step, whole step, and then half step. So whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, G major. talked about relative minor well we'll just go down a minor third you know E minor right and aeolian say about the key of F, right? The key of F was on the other side of the 12 o'clock, which it's going counterclockwise at 11 o'clock, right? So then what is that? That's going to have, that's going to have one flat in it, okay? Um, and that would be, that would actually be um, B flat. So I have F, G, A, B flat, C, D, right, E, and then F. So there it is, spelt out. So the key of G had one sharp, which was F, because it's a leading tone, right? Right before the G, just like we would do, um, we would do our minor seven flat five, right, for that F sharp. And then we just said with the key of F, we have whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And that had one flat, B flat. Everything else was natural. Again, one more time, key of F, right? For, you can think of a lot of words that start with F, right? So we have, um, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Piece of cake. We just went through a lot of keys. So that's just fantastic. I'm mind boggled. We're really making progress here. I might just retire this series, to be honest with you. Because um, it's all the same. It really it just kind of continues on in whatever said key you're working in. Okay? So you guys take care. I'm gonna keep continue to um, I'm gonna continue to drink coffee.